Okay, so, g'day, fellow coin and banknote collectors, or should I say body part collectors. Uh, anyway, so in today's video, what are you going to talk about? I like to hold the microphone like this, so we're going to talk about that. How to hold a microphone? Actually, no. So, you want to go to another country. Either you're migrating there, or you're just visiting. But it is important that you know the actual currency that you're going to use. I would say a majority of places I've been use coins and banknotes still. Uh, don't use card. You may use specific circumstances, but banknotes and coins are still, well, except especially in Japan. Hong Kong, they like to use banknotes for one thousand dollars a bit harder to use a lot of places don't accept it because of counterfeiting or in australia it's probably mostly card these days but you can still use coins and banknotes uh, because if you're going to use them you're going to get charged a fee exchange rate fee so you, i would say for your spending priorities you're probably better off just using your coin and banknote then you know how much you're gonna uh, use so you want to use a currency, so we just say you're going to Argentina. Okay, so uh, here we're on Google. You can use whatever application you like. So um, we're going to look up um, the Argentine. So you need to know the name of the country. So Argentina. Uh, Yeah, Argentina. So you don't know the currency. Obviously, because a lot of people watching my channel are bank and coin collectors, they would know what the currency is. Okay, so we have the Argentine peso. So I know, based on my experience, that Argentinos use the peso since it decimalized its currency. So I we just go to Wikipedia and look up the actual currency so we have a lot of information yeah and that's my username of the currency so this is in spanish because of vpn uh, but you can change it to different languages and as you can see it's got a lot of different so it's got macedonian bosnian uh it's got welsh it's got Gallego, so Galician, Italian. That is Estonian. This is probably Ukrainian, Finnish. Uh, that is Armenian, Migralian, which is uh, Georgian, uh, close to Georgian. I think they live in the southwest corner. So you've got a lot of different languages. So if you're not native English speaker, you can probably find one. Or what you could do up on Google, that Google Translate. So you can uh, translate this into whatever language you want. Translate options. Okay. Choose another language. Then you can choose whatever language you want. So here we Dongri, I don't know what Dongri is. Just remember, you, okay, it looks like it's come from India. South Asian language. Okay, but we want to see it's always in English because it knows that I use English as the first language. Okay, so just change it to whatever language you got. Okay, and it does a good, be good from Spanish to English because that's a uh, pretty widely used on the internet a lot of small languages translation probably isn't that good okay so and then we have the banknote so it says it has the 10 peso if you want to increase the screen okay so we have the smallest denominator banknote 10 peso that's been changed that was changed to a coin in 2017 i think uh, and their highest banknotes 10,000 pesos then we've got coins of one, two, five, and ten pesos. And that says that it has uh, the one it's 50 cent, but they haven't really been used for 10 years. And the inflation is quite low. So if we go to 
Uh, we will go to English though. And here we have frequently used one to five pesos. They probably don't use it now. Um, you can also go to the website and look at the inflation rate, June 2014, 274%. It's so obviously that's because the exchange rate is collapsing. And here we have the exchange rate over 1991. So since they've introduced the Argentine, the current Argentine peso. And as you can see, here ended at 1 and 60, but it's up to 1,000 now. So here is the Central Bank website, English. Should be able to find uh, the exchange rate. Okay, that should be money in foot circulation. It's got inflation 4% for one month. Um, and year on year is 263. But the president, I think, is trying to fix that. Current exchange rate is 992 US dollars. So it's about 600 to Australian dollar. So if you want to find out the exchange rate, you're going to be paying for the currency. You don't use this. You can go down. Should have an exchange rate somewhere. Okay. Usually these pages have exchange rates. Uh, that this one doesn't have it. They must be starting to take them off. Which you get some ding dongs that like to do that. Okay, now let's just try and look for it. Okay, no. Okay, so look for Argentine peso US US dollar. So you've got an exchange rate. Okay, you can choose whichever one you like. Just go through them and see what's X C seems I think that seems to be okay. I want one with a graph, long term graph. Okay, this one's I, I like it's not too it's only got a ten year graph. And we can I want to change it around so one us dollar to argentine pesos and you can see 10 years goes 845 five years ago is 44 now one year ago 283 now you can see it there was a sharp devaluation here another devaluation there and they had ever devaluations over the time period. So obviously, it's not really good to keep this currency. Because if you want to collect coins and banknotes, um, some currencies like US dollar, obviously long term, it's pretty stable. The Japanese yuan, ever since the Second World War, it's been, ever, or I should say ever since the 50s, it's been stable. It's actually gone down in value against the US dollar. Actually gone up in value, should I say. Used to be about 400, I think now it's about 150 or whatever. Uh, so, what we have here is a declining currency. So, you also need to know what currency you're going to use. So, you go to Numister and you got all the banknotes and coins of the different currencies, so the current ones. So we're looking for Argentina. You so you got Armenia, Argentina, Argentina. And when you look at this, you can actually go to a reference and see how many currencies they've had since independence. So they had the real, but it circulated up until 1881. So you got one, two, three, four, five. Six. So they've had six currencies uh, since 1969. They've had uh, five, four other currencies. So that's in the last 60 years. They've had five currencies. So inflation 
So this is pretty much hyperinflation destroying the currency. So we want to go to convertible peso. So originally it was equivalent to US dollar, but then it's uh, got taken off that in 2000 and ever since then it's been sliding. Okay, so we've got the one centavos. As you can see, the last mintage was 24 years ago. So no longer has it been demonetized. You can open it up and coin alignment, no. So obviously none of these coins have been demonetized. Obviously the previous currencies have. We've got five centavos last minted 13 years ago, 2011. Uh, same with the 10 centavos. Then we've got the 25. Okay, there's these ones minted in 2013, but I don't think they were issued of circulation. So pretty much 2010 was the last. 25 centavos, 50 centavos. Last minted 2010. And once again, they did issue or mint a smaller version, which is probably never see, didn't come into circulation. And, uh, but and then got the one peso minted in uh, 2016. Probably no longer in circulation because you can click on one, one peso. It's worth 0.2 of a cent. So you need five of them to equal one US Australian cent. Obviously, this is in Australian dollars. I'm not going to change it for this video because it's too much trouble. Then we have the one peso issue from 2017, 2020, pretty poor quality. Uh, so even you know, impoverished country, you're probably not going to use that. And then you've got the two. So here's uh, the bimetal metal one. Here is the base metal, 2018. And if you open that one up, here's some information down below. About the coin has a mintage 50 million. Then we have the five and the ten pesos. So obviously, I haven't minted any coin since 2020. Not surprising, a lot of countries haven't because uh, COVID pretty much. You see, you can buy a whole set for like 10 bucks. So that's American dollars. Oh no, this one also five bucks American dollars. Uh, so probably seven. Eight dollars, but the postage could be anything. Okay, five dollars, yeah, ten dollars. So that, that, that looks like something I'd probably purchase. Uh, they did have some information saying that these weren't used in circulation, but this is like only worth two cents, so not really worth it. Okay, and if you want to, you can click. Go up the top, and here we have you got swapped banknote ex exonumia. So that means tokens and all that stuff, stuff not official coins. Okay, you can look at the banknotes. So we want the current banknotes. So you got the one peso, two, uh, obviously 2014, then changed to a coin. And then we had the five two thousand fifteen the ten pesos. This one was issued by a state. So in Argentina states are allowed to issue banknotes as well, but obviously they need to be backed up by currency. Okay, then we got the twenty pesos. So that's the first one. And the current twenty pesos is this banknote here. Which is the nicest banknote that one of the nicest that they've issued. Uh, so this is worth three cents. So this is pretty much one you'll be using in circulation. So it's actually quite nice. That's a Guanaco. So it's like an alpaca or a llama. And on the back we have a map of Argentina, coat of arms. Obviously the paper quality is not that good. Okay. And you can go down. You can go see the banknotes. So any of these you could get in your change, but more than likely you're just going to get the last ones. So the current 20 and 50, they're all horizontal on this side instead of vertical. 
so there's the 100, and then there's the 200 pesos, 500, 1000. Obviously, the 1000 pesos has been changed now. So, this is the current one with, I think it's Simon Bolivar. But we will find out. That is, oh, San Martin. So, not Simon Bolivar. So, this is worth dollar fifty. So this bank note you'll probably be getting. And I'll only collect these if they are pretty much uncirculated. And even then, they're just gonna be common, so really dollar fifty. And even uncirculated when you'll be paying that, so I don't mind that. But and as you can see you got two thousand pesos, you've got two different varieties. Now you can look that up yourself. Highest banknote is the 1,000 pesos issued this year, equivalent to $16. But as the inflation is going to go up, I wouldn't be forking out $16 for a banknote like that. I will be waiting to this currency becomes worthless, and then probably picking it up for two two dollars or so so with argentina you would get familiar with these currencies so familiar familiarize yourself with these currencies before you go so you know what you're going to use so this one's a pretty bland uh but i actually quite like it nice green has two people on it has their names here Manuel Belgrano, Mario Ramos de Vele, and his, uh, yeah, I think that's the War of Independence, 1812. Okay, so that is basically how you get to know a currency. And, you know, you can actually go back to banknotes, because... More than likely, most countries you're going to come across banknotes. Okay, just say you go into Indonesia. You pretty much don't want the current currencies. Um, I mean, the previous currencies. So these are just collector's items. You probably might see them for sale somewhere in markets or whatever. But with Indonesia, the current lowest banknote is. 1,000 rupiah, so you've got 500, and then you've got the 1,000 rupees. So, some of this information on them is correct, some is not. Okay, so this, these are demonetized, but it is, and then you've got the current banknotes. So, here we have the 2000, 2016, then the 1621, then the 22, 24, and it's got the dimensions. So, this one's a bit smaller. It's got this wavy pattern to match a banknote look ugly, but this one looks like it's got someone's bum hanging out So that's probably why they changed that uh, So this doesn't really look nice if this was also It's a bit wavy, but if it was the same pattern it would actually look a lot nicer And the same with this side Yeah, but they're not too bad They're not too good either And her portrait looks better than in those ones so these are Indonesian banknotes, so and they also use currencies as well. So you can go up and go to coins as well. And the Indonesian coins for Australians is pretty common because a lot of Australians do go to Indonesia. So you've got the old coins you might see on markets, and you also got these older ones. So you can buy a set of these in Australia for like ten dollars. I'm not really worth that much. Uh, and then you've got older ones. So the smallest banknote they currently have is 100 rupiah. So these are probably the two that you're going to find, the aluminium ones. These are in circulation. Then you've got the 200 rupiah. Then you have the 500, so the large aluminium coin. And then you have the 1,000 rupiah, which is a nickel-plated steel. So you've got a 1,000 rupiah banknote and coin. So basically, this is how you familiarize yourself 
with uh, currencies, make notes. So you just look up, I don't know, you just look up, uh, Argentine banknotes. Go to images, and it should give you a series of banknotes, and then you just do a little bit of research. Obviously, these are probably the banknotes you're going to use. So the 100, 200, 500, and one fair, uh, are supposed to be new, but they haven't been issued yet. And it's supposed to be a 20,000, so I wouldn't be surprised if by the time someone goes there, or even next year, you're going to use 20,000. But obviously not issued yet. Uh, and it has a lot of information about banknotes. So you got also news as well. So I hope this helps you with your banknote and coin collecting or even just users currency. So a lot of times I go to a country and I actually I collect the coins with the minor value, uh, but I don't collect the banknotes. I've done it for Taiwan and Vietnam. Didn't bother keeping the banknotes, actually quite common. Uh, Japan I did keep a set because they're high value. Um, Hong Kong, I've always kept the banknotes. Macau, the, most of the time I counter Hong Kong banknotes, not Macanese banknotes. So this year I'll be going to China. Hopefully I've got the new 10 yuan, but I would like to get the new Chinese banknotes and also the new coins, which should start to become uncommon but in china it's all pretty much all the rage today in china is uh, uh electronic payments i think that's been uh pulled forward by the government actually for control purposes or the population so i don't think they use coins and banknotes that much anymore okay you got the one you one then you got the Five. So all the current Chinese banknotes have Mao Zedong on them, so that's quite easy. And they actually have better color features than previous banknotes. Okay, Mao Zedong, Mao Zedong, Mao Zedong. It's a nice blue banknote, twenty-one, nice yellow one. And the highest banknote they issued, which will be the most common, is the one hundred yuan. So it's the two thousand and fifteen version which uh yeah i've got a few don't really want to keep it and the 50 you want so basically this is what you're going to use well you would have used but i would say it's just all electronic payment now uh, because then the government can just cut off if you are being a little bad boy anyway hope this helps you with your banknote and coins use in a different country and what you need to look for uh just basic information about banknotes and coins thank you and hooroo